the $50 million uh, Department of Defense and Department of Veterans Affairs Research Award or grant will be initiated with VCU and the Richmond VA as leadership. There is a clear understanding that concussions are an epidemic in sports, in the military, and in, you know, just in day-to-day -day life. It, it, it's, it's a major issue. Related to that, dementia is as well. There's a very strong belief in 2019 that, that you know, there's, there's cause and effect. We're not sure what's in the middle there. We're studying the middle piece. We're going to be the linkage to help people to understand when you have this kind of an injury, what's the chance you're going to get to this level and what can you do to prevent that from happening? We are getting a 360 degree overview of every possible system from their brain and nervous system to their endocrine functioning to their heart. They will be able to find out if they're starting to have any long-term effects, any decline. I had a couple of mild TBIs while I was in combat and I have a couple like issues as far as like balance goes, you know, headaches, and this really just sheds light on everything for me personally. So if I could help out, you know, brother or sister in the future, I would definitely do that. I thought it was best to be a participant. If I'm gonna ask people to participate in a study, I might want to participate in it myself. And then and that way I get to know exactly what I'm asking people to do. The major benefit is for our younger brothers and sisters who are getting ready to join or are still in the service, still getting injured, uh, we might be able to, to come up with something that could help them in the future. I think the most exciting thing is that we're working as a team across the country, you know, for a common cause that ultimately is helping our service members and our veterans, which is what this country is about.